What's going on everybody? It is Luke bringing you another video today. So today we are going to do a full review of Cella Amp. Now it's going to be a software, a Chrome extension, a website, a mobile app. Um, and what's great about this is at the, at the end of this video, um, there's an announcement for a competition. Not really a competition, it's more like just comment on the, uh, the video. And you can win a free year subscription to Cella Amp which I'll pick at random, maybe a week after this video is released uh, through Facebook and YouTube, and I'll pick one of the comment winners, and you'll be able to use this for a full year. It will calculate your profits, uh, you can use it for a retail arbitrage and that sort of thing. Have a look at the video, decide if you wanna do the competition, if not, maybe leave it for someone else that you know actually wants to use it, and we start from there. First thing is, I've just got off a call, a call, a, a Zoom chat, whatever that thing is, podcast, webinar, with the creator, well, the creators and the people that work at Sellerboard. Uh, I went onto a podcast slash YouTube video with them, um, which they recorded for their channel, and that's going to be out in January sometime. So that's quite cool. It's been another little cool thing I did this morning. I thought, why not carry on the recordings with one of these. So, Celeramp. Well, what is SAS or Celeramp, I'll call it. Um, the creator is Al Carton. Uh, many of you will know Al from the Facebook community groups, um, not Facebook community groups, the Facebook F Amazon FBA community groups, there we go. Um, uh, he's been an established seller for years and he wanted to build a software which was catered exactly to his needs. It would only, you know, show him the, deta the details of what he needed to calculate profits, margins, um, everything, you know, keeper, um, so that, you know, it was the fastest software that he could create to get his task done as fast as he can, because you will find that with many different of the so versions of the software, not this software, but the different similar um, companies that create software, some of it could be quite simple, some of it can be quite um like complicated or in depth, I guess, but there's lots of complicated bits to it. There's lots of segments or sections, um, and it can slow down your browser. And if you are only looking to do, if you are a more advanced seller, for example, and you're only looking to grab a couple of pieces of information because you are fully able to do all the other analysis yourself, then it will just help speed up the process. Because I remember I've used my old laptop once, and it sometimes would take a minute, to two minutes to load the page. So I wouldn't even be able to do any profit calculations. And um, he tried to add loads of layers into it to reduce the speed that it takes to load all the information, which is really important. So we're going to go through it quickly. Um, I don't actually use the mobile SaaS app, but there's pictures below, and it's basically a mobile app for retail arbitrage. You can scan and go, like click and collect, and that, or whatever it is. Uh, we're going to be mainly talking about the SaaS extension today, but you can also use it through just a web browser. Um, what can it do? Well, like many of the other softwares, it helps calculate profits and helps your buying decisions. Um, product info, you know, it will show you product information, ASIN, blah, 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 category, review count, product total, like, you know, the, the sort of standard stuff. The sales rank, you know, it will give you here, the BSR, the buy box, lots of different um, bits, and you can change this little section here, which will show you keeper, um, you know, max cost, stuff like this. But some of the uh, pieces of information I won't use, and some I will, it just depends on what you've how you've learned your style of Amazon um, online arbitrage or whatever it is actually that you do. Um, each person uses different aspects of these things more than others. So just tweak what you need and what you don't need. This is a quite a cool addition. You can easily quickly swap between them um, with that little section below for the longer period. Of course, like everyone knows, you need a profit calculator. Um, it will show you the other marketplaces, just a snapshot. Um, so you can quickly glance to see if it's even worth looking into the other countries because many times I'll go, oh, can I sell this item in Germany? Go through to the German website, calculate it up, and you'll make minus, always minus, you know, like stuff because the fees are ridiculous. With this, it gives you a quick snapshot so you don't waste as much time. Um, geolocation is optional, which is quite cool because I went to the SAS workshop the other week and it's to do with, you know, you, don't, you can opt out, you don't need to opt in. Um, it's very important, and it will. It doesn't share. It says the data is never shared. But what you can do is you can go and find out where you've actually made these purchases um, historically. So if you are, what, where did I get that item? I want to try to get some more sold out. Well, you can go ahead and actually find out um, through that. And 
like any piece of software, it's still in beta, I believe, and it's got many different um, areas, uh, extensions to come, and it's probably going to be ongoing, just like every piece of software and service that, you know, that's for Amazon, because it's always changing, the marketplace is always changing, um, and you need to do it. So this is the mobile SaaS, you know, app, which I'm not going to go into, but it's quite self-explanatory from this. You go ahead and scan, and it brings up this tab and you're able to then put your profits and buy costs in and make a very quick decision to see and that's quite cool torch flashlight for ra in the dark like you're going to be sneaking into a closed shop um no i'm just joking but yeah so you can see that's quite cool and this is what we will be talking about today and i'll be giving you some live examples of exactly what's cool about it um and you know there's a getting started and getting serious um, you know, anyone that's starting will just start on this most probably. Uh, you may not even need to do more than a thousand scans if you're a bit more of an advanced seller. It's this, and it's competitively priced. It's just like most softwares. Always dark, decently competitively priced in beta, and it's only going to get more expensive as time goes on and it goes out of beta. Uh, of course, like I said, one lucky winner, lucky, lucky, will um, get a year's free subscription to this. Um, if you are, you know, if you, I'll tell you how to win it at the end. So we're going to go ahead and jump through to the examples. And if you want to go onto the website, I will just raise this quickly so you are able to see. There we go. It is selleramp.com. Uh, if you just want to go and check out yourself and, and read, you can always just read through some more of the, of the um, sections on the website, sign up uh, and so on. So we're going to go ahead and jump to an example. Uh, I haven't even got it overlaid yet. I just wanted to show you it raw. Of course, that's my keeper chart. Nothing exciting. So this is a celebrations tab. You can see it's been selling for 93 days, and that's the ranking, and that's the so on and so on. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and grade it up. So I, you know, most of the time the Chrome extensions will automatically populate, which it would, but I've just turned it off for the second. So we're going to go ahead and, go ahead and click it on. So you can see as soon as you click it on, it is there, and it pushes it all nicely so that it's not sort of like there or something. Uh, if you get what I'm trying to say, so it pulls it. Oh, now I've ruined it, haven't I? Okay, let's get it off. Yes, there we go, did it. Uh, and you can, it's only because I've got this, um, I've got a box around where I'm recording and it's really difficult to drag and drop. So you can see here, it gives you all the details that you want. You can go in and change whatever you need. If you've got discounts, you can apply discounts. If you're VAT registered, you can go ahead and, and add in some VAT numbers change it, you know, 5%, 20%, which is really important. Many items are 5% or zero. If it's zero, I guess you would then turn off that. something like that. But yeah, for the minute, we're going to go ahead and just leave it as that. Um, or you would put not applicable possibly, but I haven't actually played around with that side of things. Um, it will take you two minutes if you're VAT ready to draw, you would know that that's something you've got to, you've got to take into account. Marketplaces, you can see it's only in that market, exchange rate, and some little bits about here that you can't probably see because my head's in the way, is just freshness, like when was it last, when was this information last updated to, to give you this um, profit um, to show you what's going on, to see how live this actually is compared to this. So just like most of the extensions, it gives you all the nice bits of information, um, and Al's, you know, talked to me many times about this, he's, he's basically created it to give him exactly what he needs as a more advanced seller um, that's been doing it for years and years. This is the most amount of, you know, the sort of the core foundation slash um, advanced sort of hybrid of what things need to be shown for him to make the best decision he needs without having all the extra stuff, which may be more you know, applicable for some beginners because they like to actually have lots more pieces of information to guide their decision making. Um, you know, like ASIN, picture, description, BSR, I would look at it a little bit, buy box, is Amazon on it, you know, so on and so on. You know, I'd say snippets, 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 calculate, done, move on, next, next product. Uh, so what will I do now is I'll jump over to something that is really quite cool, and this will help a lot of, you know, sometimes I'll, I will do sort of a copy and paste style, um, Amazon, like product search, it's not cop literally copy and paste, and just go onto a random website and just spend like a day doing it. Uh, it's a bit more to it than that, but I do start on a web page like this, yeah? So I will start on something like this, the way that I go about my um, 
for searching. So you can see here, this is this is this product. But let's say you didn't already have this listing and you were actually doing it the other way around where you had just this. And you were like, you know what, it'd be nice to see if I can make some money on this. Now, um, you know, it's not on sale or anything. It's an example, okay? Um, but this is very, very easy to know. It's 650 grams and a celebration stub. So it's very simple. And you, we can see here, this is, this is this item. But if you did not know which one it was, how would you do it? You could just copy this, go into here, paste, you know, like most people would, um, you know, and you can see, oh, there's a pack four and so on and so on. But let's see, you know, obviously these are extra seconds. It might take a bit of time to load. You really want to see what's going on a little bit faster than that. Um, and what I would, and what you can do on this, which is a great addition, is you can go like this, highlight that text, and click SAS, the SAS section here. Click it, and it actually is going to come up automatically. And we're going to then see sales rank 2000 and a bit, and a price of 825, and that is the item we just had. You can click that, and it will bring up the information. Now we can see exactly what's going on. You can look at the keeper chart. We already knew this is the keeper chart I just showed you. And we can calculate our profits right here, right now, without even going onto the Amazon page. And of course, if you want to go onto the Amazon page and just double check that the information is correct, you can. You can go up here and click this little button, open another tab button, and it will populate again. And then you can triple check. But of course, if you did this many times and you saw that it was it was exact, then you would not need to keep jumping around all the different websites. You know, just like if you've ever done it before, you, you end up with 40,000 tabs open at the top because you've gone to 10 different websites. It's really difficult to know where, where you've even gone. It's really nice and easy to do. It just cuts a couple of seconds off here, a couple of seconds off there. Cut, and it's and it also makes your computer faster, laptop faster, whatever you've got, because you don't have to open everything. I, I know my computer just sometimes doesn't even doesn't even go on, like, you know, and this is complete truth. Doesn't even click through onto, like, an item sometimes. It says this page is not available. I'm like, well, it is. It's, celebrations but it's just because my computer's got so many tabs and i'm talking non like you can't even see the tab it's almost like an invisible tab because it's so tightly together and you know it's just really nice and slick it's fast it's easy you know you get to that point you know you've done you don't have to muck around you can of course use the um just standard browser version if you want um but this is so much so easy and easy simple to use and there's always new additions like i said like this has literally just been out maybe a month um and you know the the one thing which is really nice that's going to come and um, which is important to me is the sas office tab or a panel uh with stock count so you know where you can see how much competition so in q4 this is quite important for me maybe not the rest of the year you want to know what your competition has in terms of stock levels is it high is it low where where are they priced? You know, you, you can go in through the new section compared to prices, but it's really good to strategically plan your um, pricing. Definitely now when people may not be sending in stock for Q4, it's good to see how many, you know, if there's only 10 units between you and another four quid pro like profit, then you just raise your prices because you're able to see it get a snapshot of what the other sellers have. So that would be a great... Um, it says it's in beta now. Ah, so it's in beta stage, yeah. So that'll be released almost ASAP because when I spoke to him at the um, workshop, he said it was basically done, but he just wanted to make sure that it was perfect before it was released. And that'll be one of the like major things. You can see here he's got eBay SaaS panel in development. That's a lot of people do eBay and they want to want to have that on, on the thing. You know, but for, for RA, it's definitely a really, really cool concept as well with the geolocation. You know, like if you go and pick up loads of things from a store, but you've gone to 50 stores that week, where do you, how do you know? Well, you can go back and check. You know, many people I know that do what RA, that would be a great addition. Um, definitely with this, really, really slick and easy. And again, anyone that does sort of copy and paste method, just jumping on and doing it this way, calculate your profits, maybe adding five or, you know, six to cart quickly, not 76. How, whatever. <laughs> Click that, move on, and you know, next. You don't even have to go onto the Amazon page. You can just jump straight through to special offers or something here. You can go, um, let's go to this, you know, let's go to here. Let's get rid of that, let's go back. Uh, oh yeah, we need to do it like this. So we're gonna go like that. Like so. Mm, don't know, maybe it's not that product. Bad example, I guess. There we go. 
to go onto the actual, that's, so that's an interesting thing. So if you ever have that issue, make sure you go onto the actual listing. It will be this product here. You can see it's exactly the same. Or it will be Pro 2, Pro 2 and 1000, whatever. Uh, rechargeable, electric toothbrush. Oh, that's the white version. Um, so I went to the one. You can go by the black version. There'd be. I guess there isn't a black version. Pink. So sometimes you'll find that there won't be, but actually this is quite cool. You can actually check, that's pink. Well, I was on the black, but I can't find the black. This is a pink, now I can find the pink. And jump through, and of course, that's probably not gonna be profitable, but now you're able to see. Um, and you could go back and see, well, there was actually another color, which was the white version. Um, is there a white version? I don't think there is. But there, you've, you've very fast and effectively found not even the item you're looking and it's, it's helped lead you through the process but you can just see how fast it is where where i'm clicking here you know with one second i'm just quickly seeing profits looking at keeper chart next product boom and with copy and paste you'll find it, it takes it can take hours and hours definitely when you're newer and you don't quite grasp how the, the best ways to do certain things it take you hours and hours to find one lead and um, where you've got to go back and forth and you've got to type the profits and you've got to change the website you've got to copy and paste like you know that then you've got to search through Amazon um, and this is just really slick and nice and easy and it's fast and I think with the uh, keeper loading screen here the way that it keeps um, the speed really really slick is that it's only you know it's not updated unless you actually require it so as you click it will it won't have it always um, sort of live in the background as such but you know any questions that sort of thing the technical side of things this ask Al he has a SAS Seller Amp group, you can just search it in Facebook uh, and you should see it almost instantly because he's in almost all the groups that are to do with Amazon FBA. Um, so it should you know be sort of suggested. And yeah, get looking at the software because you know he's an experienced seller, he knows what he's talking about, and it's only gonna get better. This is only in beta. Most things that are in beta are, are almost unheard of. It's only you're getting you know a bit of exposure to it because you're you know, I know I know him and I know um you know, I'm in this group, but a lot of people that are outside of that won't actually or you know come across it and it will only get more expensive. So there will be a competition. It will be, you know, I'll add it onto the end uh, of the Facebook post when I actually go about posting it. It's literally just comment your name in the Facebook post. I'm sure I know that your name will come up, but just put your name so I can easily copy and paste it properly. Um, and I will then do a random winner for a year's subscription of the software. Um, if you want to look in more depth, then you can jump to the website, of course. Um, and you know, you can always message Al directly. He's more than happy to answer any questions you've got about what it does, if it's going to be like compatible with your business model and your uh, methods and sourcing methods. And you can go from there. But you know, as far as it is at the moment, it's a great piece of software. It's really slick, really fast, gives you everything you need, and it's only going to get better. And I will do an updated version, maybe every three to six months, depending on the new um, uh, functionality, um, because I do find it's important to make sure you do do that, because um, these sort of things are important, um, and it is good to have an update so that others can see what's going on and how it's improved, and then you can make a, sort of an estimate of how great it will be down the line, because you can see how great it's been in the last six months, what new additions there have been, and go from there. Gonna leave the video there. Have a great day and I'll see you uh, in 2020.